Hey, so um, I was just minding my own business watching a YouTube video and I got an update from Roller Coaster Tycoon World and apparently it's coming to Steam Early Access. So I figured I'd make a video on it because I can and I'm here and I'm awake. Now at 2.58 p.m. on March 24th, 2016, they released this announcement. And th this is their words. We know it's been quite some time since our last blog, and we, in we needed some time to finalize a few features and decisions uh, in the end before being able to provide you with the biggest news and the street date. Thank you for your patience. Um, we are happy to announce Rollercoaster Tycoon World will be available Wednesday, March 30th. That's just a few days away. That's uh, March 30th. That is a Wednesday. Next Wednesday, that is six days from today via Steam Early Access. It's been a long ride with ups and downs, and we would expect from a roller coaster tycoon obsessed team, uh, which, which is what you would expect. How did I miss that? Steam's font's always been hard for me. Uh, we cannot tell you how excited and humbled we are to finally open the doors and let you into this version of the Early Access roller coaster tycoon world. Now, and then they continue to explain what they plan to add, what is currently in the game, and let me tell you this, they're scared shitless. So Roller uh, Planet Coaster released their alpha on Tuesday, and I guess that Roller Coaster Tycoon, or Atari, and Naviso, and all them kind of looked at this and went, well shit, we're screwed, <laughs> you know? Um, Frontier just released their alpha build of their upcoming theme park simulator, and it looks and plays better than ours. Well shit, we're fucked. They promised us two beta weekends. They gave us one of them, delayed the second one, never commented on the fact that they delayed the second one, and now they're releasing the game publicly. To me, in my mind, what's going to happen, they're going to release the game publicly, they're going to update it maybe once, then they're going to cut down the dev team, maybe even get a new dev team, and then just continue updating it perpetually and screwing it up consistently forever. I don't think this game's ever going to come out. Look at how many early access games are released onto early access and then go instantly into development hell. Look at DayZ, look at many, many, many early access games. Uh, DayZ just comes to mind off the top of my head. Rust is another one. That game has fallen apart multiple times. Hell, look at other games that have been in early access for ages and just never really came out properly. I mean, um... Crap, what's the name of that game? Uh, War for the Overworld was in early access for quite some time, came out broken-ish because they just couldn't finish the game. They needed more funds. This is going to happen. It's going to sell a bunch on day one, maybe. Then it's going. the sales are going to drop off. They're going to lose all funding. They're going to get rid of the entire damn team. The entire thing's going to fall apart, and it's not even going to... It's, it's going to be even more stillborn than it would be if, if they'd canceled it. I don't know. This is... It's, it's messing with my brain. I, I don't have any in-depth analysis or anything, but all I can say is... What the fuck? <laughs> They're get they they lose. That's game over. They're giving up. Yeah, okay, they they say that they're releasing into early access, and I'll play it. I'll play it on the 30th, sure. I mean at least I know what I'm streaming next week. But damn. Damn. Did they really screw up this bad? Man, maybe they'll impress me. Maybe I'm wrong. But holy crap. I'm awaiting next Wednesday. Maybe I'll post another video then. Yeah, no, RCT World. The Locos Tycoon World. Coming out in early access. Who fucking knew? Who fucking knew? Another interesting thing is in the What Comes Next, they have a piece-by-piece -piece custom built structures, which they have already said that they're not going to do, and then later confirmed that they're going to do shortly after Frontier posted their video. Showcasing their miraculous, beautiful structure building system. They're also going to be adding in mini rides and dark rides, additional scenarios, transport rides, fence builder. Well, yeah, fence builder, because we all know that their fences were broken as shit. New experience decoration theme, or expanded decoration themes, pardon me. Additional flat rides, weather, custom music, 
Well, that would be nice. Custom music. New roller coaster types. Currently, they have an innovative coaster builder combining freeform and piece by piece with your options for ultimate control, freeform, object placement, curved paths, variety of uh, widths and styles, fully integrated Steam uh, user gener generated content system. This will be interesting. You know. I, I expect this game to come out mostly broken. Maybe if user generated content is amazing, we could have a a modding platform situation where it kind of comes back together. I don't know. I don't know. We shall await next Wednesday. And I'll see you then. Also, uh, I stream on Twitch. Six days a week. Twitch.tv slash blind if it's your first time seeing me. Seeing me. Link will be in the description.